COVID cases arise among the inmate population in Arizona at the Pima County Jail. They've had zero cases of inmate to inmate contact earlier this month at the Whetstone unit located just northeast of Tucson. Nearly half of the inmates contracted the coronavirus. The latest numbers statewide from the Arizona Department of Corrections indicate over 1800 inmates have tested positive. So what is the Pima County Jail doing to keep its inmate population safe from COVID? Our Digging Deeper team looked into it. News 4 Tucson's Opita Murillo with tonight's report. Since February, jail officials have been putting into place protocols inside the jail to keep it from becoming a human petri dish. No inmate is allowed into general population until after, until being quarantined for basically 28 days. Captain Sean Stewart is responsible for the management of the inmate population. Today it was a little over 1,500. Normally it's about 2,000. He says the key was quick action. And then we prepared for the worst case scenario. And, and because we prepared for the worst case scenario, we haven't had any problems. Just ask Cheyenne Simpkins. She was booked in February when the protocols were put into place. She's a trustee. I've been here six months and I haven't gotten sick, so I know that they're doing a great job. Also as a safety precaution, everyone who comes into the jail now has to have their temperature taken. Normal temperature. If they answer certain criteria that would um, send up a red flag that they may be possible for COVID-19, then we were able to the take them outside the jail, isolate them. And keep them away from coming into contact with other inmates. Since March, the jail has been very strict about wearing masks. It's just what's best for us to keep everyone safe. Low-level inmates have been moved to the mission unit so they could create quarantine pods in the main jail. And they've asked law enforcement. Not to bring somebody to jail unless they definitely had to be here. If they have to be here, we'll accept them. They also asked the courts to put a moratorium on work furlough and work release. Obviously, somebody going out every day and coming back is a concern um, for COVID-19. They stopped face-to-face -face visitation with attorneys. And just having those relationships really paid dividends for us. Dividends that kept the jail population at a manageable level. So we could manage the crisis if it broke out in the facility. You know, knock on wood, or luckily for us, we've had zero, zero inmate to inmate transmissions of COVID. Captain Stewart says so far they've had 10 inmates come into the facility with COVID, but they were separated. Also, they've had 24 staff members also come down with the virus, but they've recovered at home. Digging deeper at the Pima County Jail, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.